Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I hope everybody's having a great thirsty Thursday. We are here back at the man cave here where we are one week away from the NFL draft where dreams hopefully come true for the Dallas Cowboys. And we have an interesting, it's, it, this is really kind of interesting here because we know that automatically if you want to sell papers, if you want people to watch, if you want to uh, get covered, all you have to do is say Dallas Cowboys. So rumor has it that Bill Belichick, who did not get a job this offseason, whom Robert Kraft basically told the Atlanta Falcons, watch Bill Belichick, you can't trust him, and kind of hurt his chances of getting that job in Atlanta, says he's not quite finished coaching just yet. And there are three places he would like to coach. New York, Philadelphia, and of course, Dallas. Now, I would like to know how you guys would feel about the idea of Bill Belichick being here and being a coach. Um, I know automatically people will say he's got those six Super Bowl championships, and we, you know, with him, we're, we're, we're going to Super Bowl. Well, here's a couple of assumptions that I think you have to make if you're talking about Bill Belichick coaching the Dallas Cowboys next year. It's not going to happen this year. We're already knee deep. And I will say that Mike McCarthy being on the hot seat will probably perform since he's got now his quarterback second year in his system. And Dak Prescott, a guy whom I would not bet against in a contract year. Just saying. Um, I wouldn't. If you are bringing in Bill Belichick next year, Bill Belichick, a guy who's in his 70s, you're probably not looking at the long term. You're probably looking at, say, two or three years. He'd be on like the um, Bill Parcells type of a uh, thing. And if that is the case, with the problem that Bill Belichick had was he got lucky with Tom Brady. Tom Brady, who was a seventh-round draft pick, ended up being the impetus that helped him to win those Super Bowls. Now, mind you, people will say I'm crazy, but remember that Tom Brady also had great defenses. The very worst defense that Tom Brady had winning the Super Bowl was with Tampa Bay, where they were the eighth rated defense. Some years they had the number one defense in the NFL. They played lights out. Um, especially early on in his career, defense led them. That's not to say that Tom Brady, who had incredible Super Bowls, incredible Super Bowls and numbers. But when you look at the victory that they had um, over the Eagles, excuse me, yeah, over the Eagles, it was their defense against Don McNabb that carried them through. And... Um, when they lost to the Eagles, the defense played really good. The offense wasn't enough. But be that as it may, Tom Brady is one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the NFL, although it's hard to gauge because Tom Brady did not get hit the way other quarterbacks did in, say, the 60s, 70s, and 80s. That's a fact. And the 90s. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. And when you literally see a guy swipe like this and get 15 yards in comparison to seeing Roger Staubach literally getting jacked up and there's no flag, it's a different game. Be that as it may, if you're bringing in Bill Belichick to replace Mike McCarthy, then the assumption would be is you're bringing back Dak Prescott. And I know you all are going to be like, what are you talking about? If you're getting rid of Dak Prescott, if you're letting him walk, if you're not signing him to another contract, 
then you are either dra- which is a possibility. We've heard the possibilities that the Cowboys may be drafting a quarterback. Okay, we've heard that. We've heard that it's Trey Lance's error that it's time for Trey Lance to step up, and he's the guy because we have fans out there that already believe that he is the quarterback that's going to take a Super Bowl. And then there's the Skip Baylesses that believe that Cooper Rush is the guy. Be that as it may, if you let Dak go, you are starting over. If Dak's gone, Mike McCarthy's gone, and you are starting all over. I don't know with the lack of success in personnel the last three years or so with Bill Belichick that you want Bill Belichick rebuilding the team. You want Bill Belichick to be like John Gruden, to take the team and the talent that's there and maximize them. Get them so they're not tired when they're playing in the playoff game. Get them so they're not nervous before a game. You want him to take that talent to the next level, which means you keep the talent that's here because Bill Belichick is not going to be here long enough for a complete rebuild. He's too old, way too old. So you like the idea of Bill Belichick being here? The question, and I'm kind of surprised that Bill Belichick is a guy who likes to be in charge likes to have complete control, and also likes to not be part of the media. And that's where I think it would be interesting to see with Micah Parsons having a show, with Jerry Jones having a show, with um, everybody having a show, how that would work out with Bill Belichick not liking that limelight. Bill Belichick doesn't give you anything in a press conference. He's going to kind of, and he's not going to want Jerry Jones out there babbling away about what he thinks, you know, here's, here's the real deal. No, he's going to want to, Jerry, shut the hell up. I don't know how that dynamic works between the two of them, but I think if you end up being the ones that are getting the talent and you're not doing a complete rebuild, that, yeah, he, he's good at taking talent to another level. Now, of course, all this is a mute point right now. We actually have a season that starts in 140 days from now where the die is already cast. And if we're talking about already hiring another coach, that sounds like we've already given up on the season. So I'm not ready to give up on a season that hasn't even got here yet. It's funny to me because of some of the crazy stuff that you hear um, coming down the road back from uh, working on the farmhouse. They were literally talking about Caleb Williams could be or, or is most likely to be a Hall of Famer. And he hasn't even been drafted yet. And I, I, I'm just like, seriously? Seriously? Are you kidding me? There's like under 400 people in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You got about 2,000 players in the NFL right now. And you're talking about him already having not even been drafted in the Hall of Fame? I'll have more on that. That, That's just crazy. I'll have more on that later, y'all. I'll see you soon. Peace. Run. They laugh. I see the glow shining in their eyes. Oh, my God.